Hey you lovely raw folks, it's amazing to see you back here at the channel once again. And this is of course your regular dose of raw news and analysis with me, your host. Now, get ready for an epic, epic video is coming up today. And also guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to make sure that you guys personally don't miss out on any of the raw updates and raw secrets that are coming up. So let's get started. Now, Prince Harry's lawyers are seeking to tie Piers Morgan to phone hacking after years of hostile commentary by the former newspaper editor about the Duke and his wife Meghan Markle. The Duke of Sussex has pronounced it his life's work to transform British media through high-profile lawsuits, including three that are based on historical allegations of criminality by sections of the tabloid press. In one of those cases, Harry has in his sights one of the most vocal critics, a man who chose a dispute over Meghan's account to Oprah Winfrey of experiencing suicidal thoughts as the hill he would die on. Piers Morgan triggered a record 57,121 complaints to Britain's broadcast regulator after saying he did not believe the Duchess of Sussex. While he was eventually cleared by Ofcom, Morgan walked out of his job hosting Good Morning Britain rather than apologise. He blasted Meghan and Harry over privacy, nicknamed Meghan Princess Pinocchio, and called Harry a perfect sanctimonious virtue signaling hypocrite. Now it is Harry's turn, though, his lawyers to make Morgan squirm by his side. Biographer Omid Scobie once described by Morgan as a deluded lick spittle. Scobie, co-author of Finding Freedom, has submitted a witness statement saying he heard journalists at the Daily Mirror tell Morgan that a story had come from voicemail messages and he will testify at the High Court later in six-week trial that's beginning on May the 9th. Journalism professor Tim Luckhurst, principal of South College at Durham University, told Newsweek Harry is going to pursue this because he's absolutely determined Thus, the mirror is going to come under intense scrutiny, and if under that scrutiny it falters, it will be extremely damaging to the mirror and extremely damaging to the editorial team who were in charge at that time. And of course, includes Morgan, who was editor of the Daily Mirror, and the relevant time and name 61 times outlining the case through Harry and his co-accusers. However, if Harry is to achieve his aims, there are several hurdles he must overcome first, starting with winning in court. Even if he is successful, though, it would be the publisher Mirror Group newspapers who pays rather than Morgan himself. It's worth stating that the publisher denies phone hacking and is fighting the case, while Morgan has previously denied both hacking and instructing employees to hack phones. He was interviewed by police in 2015, but no prosecution followed. And the trial at the High Court in London continues. So what do you guys think about this news? Do you think that Prince Harry is deliberately dragging Piers Morgan into the lawsuit? As he knows that Piers is the only one who can unseal all his uh, tricks live on air. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think. And until next time, have a great day. We'll see you again soon with more Royal News and Analysis. Bye for now.